In this short demo, we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily install this Logix authentication server together with Active Directory. So we start by running the installation package. Once installation is extracted, it'll start the installation wizard. And all we have to do is click Next. Following that, we have to agree to the terms and conditions of the license and Next again. To do a complete installation, just simply click Next. When you're ready to start the actual installation process of copying files, etc., click Next again. And then sit back and wait for the installer to do all the work for you. Within the installer, uh, you get the option to run the directory configuration wizard straight away, which is a good first step to getting the server up and running. So click finish to close the installation wizard, and then the directory configuration wizard starts. So let's start off by clicking next. We're going to use Active Directory Forest as the our standard directory, so click next. The next step is we have to test our connectivity to the Active Directory. So we do that by clicking the Test Connection button. And the wizard will tell us that no settings have been found and we'll configure the directory for first use. So click Next. Now we get to configure the address we're going to use for the user self-service portal. Now this is a portal where users will go to configure their own account settings. So you can configure your address as such. Next we get to configure some basic email server settings. This includes the from address where the emails will come from when they're sent by the server and of course which email server to send emails through. And click next to apply your configuration changes and as you will see, the wizard has configured everything in your Active Directory required to get the Logix authentication server up and running. Please note though that a reboot will be required at the end of the install. Following that wizard, there'll be another wizard to configure your licensing. Now, every Logix server requires a license to be able to run. You can either get a free 30-day evaluation license, import a license file if you're provided with one, or enter your license key if you are given an evaluation key or purchased a key. If you want to do a trial, simply select the 30 day trial and fill in your company information and a 30 day key will be installed automatically over the internet. For now, we're just going to import an existing license file. You can see the license is imported and configured on the machine and we click finish to close the wizard. And that's the end of the installation for the Logix authentication server. After the reboot, the server is ready to configure users.